Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a video. First of all, shout out to Dan. So Dan in his vintage Patreon box, which man, I sent him like a card worth over a hundred bucks, which was the unlimited Savannah, signed Savannah retail, obviously. And then these box, two boxes of vintage cards, which are, you know, whatever cards were in my bulk box at the time. Uh, apparently one card in my bulk box one card in my bulk box was this card. So this card, in case you don't know, so this card right here is a revised version. This card is the unlimited version. The unlimited version is worth $70 plus, and I sent him four of them without even going past them. I'm sure there's other cards like unlimited demonic, which I didn't know was pricey. Unlimited uh, swords, which is like 15 to 20 dollars right now and i've always traded them at five dollars i have boxes and boxes of these cards i considered bulk and now i've gone and looked at the prices because there's a new format called 93 94 and this format has taken off i don't know if it's a tiny leaders kind of like a fad or if it's for real but i do know people are trading for these cards like crazy and people are paying money for these cards like crazy so that card which i've shown you there you can get versions of that card for five cents or less the it's just that the unlimited version can be played in the new format 93 94 when the revised version cannot because that's after the date of this randomly established number one is seventy dollars one is seven cents uh, that means it also means Blaze of Glory, Unlimited Balance. All these cards I've considered junk because I've treated them always as junk have now skyrocketed in price. Uh, am I going to promote or hype this format? No, I have little understanding of who's actually buying these cards because I, again, like who's actually buying these cards, I'm not positive. Uh, I cannot answer that question for you. That being said, fascinating stuff and again i would like to thank dan again because he honestly didn't even have to send me an email he didn't have to tell me i made the video I, it was my mistake i told him hey you know that was on me because i didn't realize this card was 70 dollars." and he sent me an email he contacted me about them immediately after he received the box and was like hey do you know these cards are worth 70 dollars a piece and i was like no why? I did a little research about it. It's the format. It's the card is being played in that format quite heavily. It's one of the better cards. Uh, turn one hypnotic specter is also a play. So hypnotic specter is from unlimited. Anything from unlimited is now worth a lot, or more than it used to be, because now it can be played in this new format. Uh, so your swords are going to be way more than your revised version or ice age version of them. Your Blaze of Glories are going to be worth some money now when they weren't worth money previously. Your Flares, so many of these things are worth money now. And I, I shake my head and say to myself, what the blank happened? <laughs> and even when I look at the facts and studied it, I still don't really know what happened because a card that is so bad that it's worth seven cents in a normal format like modern, I think it's modern playable. You would never play it. It costs four to play it, and then it costs another four to draw your first card. So it costs eight to replace it. It's 70 bucks. For real. It's not a fake 70. It's trading at 70. Because I just traded for my favorite speculation, which I'll go into a little later. I mean, I'll just tell you, it's Noble High Arc. I love Noble High Arc as a spec right now. Um, if I had to pick a new princess, it would be Noble Hierarch. Valeria has kind of disappointed me. Malera has definitely done what Malera is doing. She's like quadrupled in price recently. And Voice has done what it should be doing. It doubled in price recently. And yeah, so I'll make a video about that. I just wanted to tell you if you have a bunch of unlimited cards and a bunch of Arabian Nights, which, um, oh my gosh, like that whole box was like old cards. And I have multiple boxes like that. Do not trade them until the dust settles because some of those cards which for the longest time like the tome had no value now is worth 70 bucks 
what the blank. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.